Normally when we do these kind of videos, we give you two options for songs that we could write. We have you vote on it and then we write that song. Today it's going to be a little bit different. So, as you know, so as you know, what are you doing? I'm just writing so things down. I, so as you know from the title, this is going to be a random song. How are we going to do a random song? We're going to do a random song by having categories, for example, drum style, bass style, guitar style, vocal style, extra instruments. And we're going to have five different options that we could have for that instrument in the song. We have a pot here of different numbers. These are numbered one to five. And we're going to pick from this and whatever number we get, that will be the option for that category that we have to do. For example, these are the options for drums. If we picked out number three, we would have to do that style of drums for the entire song. Count me down, Lenny. Three, one, now. <laughs> I picked two. <laughs> okay, start again. We have four. number four, which is dubstep style drums. The next is bass. These are the options. One. We are going to do... Slap bass. The next is rhythm guitar. You'll notice that this now has an option for no rhythm guitar, which could totally be an option. We ready? We try. Yeah, we try to have at least one weird thing in each in each category. Some will have more than one weird thing. What rhythm guitar we're gonna do, Joe? Two. Number two, which is strummed chords, heavy. Tell you what, that partnered with dubstep drums is gonna be. This is just gonna be a funk rock song. But we don't have to make it funk rock. That's the thing with this is we're not choosing the genre, we're just choosing the elements so we can actually do the genre ourselves because otherwise <coughs> that'd be far too hard. The next is lead guitar, number three, which is melodic delay, which is quite hard because melodic delay in the, the way that we're describing it is the delay has to be part of the melody. So it has to be as loud as the the notes that are being played itself kind of like the intro uh, kind of like the intro guitar to welcome to the jungle by guns and roses what are we picking now we are now picking the extra instrument okay so this decides on kind of an extra sound that we're going to have in the song one this is number five number five which is arpeggiated synth oh shit so an arpeggiated synth is uh, if you press a note down on the keyboard it does a melody so you're like That kind of thing. Not looking forward to this. Oh, T Pain is essentially the um, really heavily auto tuned, and Scat is boom, which I'm quite looking forward to doing if that's what we pick out. Five, no vocal. We're gonna have to write an instrumental song. Right. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated though, because the next thing is a must include. So this isn't an instrument or even a section, this is just a thing that we must include in the song, so they're all a little bit different. If we choose Hype Man, which is totally a possibility that we could get Hype Man, the entire vocal for this song has to just be Hype. And you have chosen... Yeah, number three. Number three, which is a bilingual section! Oh no! So the only vocals that we're allowed <laughs> in this song is one section, which is bilingual. We can pick the language, however. We can pick the language, and we can pick the fucking words, but... Can we just do a fucking pitbull section? We're just like uno, dos, tres. No, all right. Fuck me. All right, we can't do it in Spanish because everybody does Spanish. Oh, South Korean. We can fucking do a fucking sigh. Right. Next, we're gonna do the structure. So what we have is we have one to five, just like normal, and we're gonna pick out. Say, say we pick two, three, two, five, one. Then that will be the order we have to write a two section, and that two section will be repeated when we chose for it to repeat. If a section only comes up once, if it only has one number, that section only plays once. But we have adjectives. We have an extra pot here. This has one to ten in. This one to ten is allocated to different adjectives. These adjectives are right here. With each structural number that we pick, it will have an adjective with it. So you're going to pick a structure first. I'm going to pick an adjective first. Okay. Three, two, one. This four, and it's going to be six, which is every instrument. So we're going to have every instrument, four section. So Joe is now doing the adjectives. And I'm now doing the structure. Number four. Number four, which is a default two section. The adjective for today is number ten. Five. Mental. Good. We're going to have a mental five section. So far we have three sections. So far we have three completely different sections. How many sections. of these are we doing? Um, let's just go until it looks right. Alright. 
If this is a different section, we might be best finishing it after this. If it's a repeat, we might be able to go on a bit longer. So, Joe is doing the adjective, I am doing the structure. It is going to be two. a two, which is half time four section, which is what we start with. Because this is now going to influence how we write. Because how we write the four section has to work with every instrument playing it, and it has to work half time. Okay, I have the adjective, Joe has the, the structure. Three. So it's a three, and it's four, which is default. So four, two, five, four, three. Seven. Everything plays a melody at once. Everything has to play a melody and it's the four section. I think this might- I think the four section is going to be the hardest fucking thing to write. Mm. Because now we have to- It has to start the song with every instrument playing, which is fine. And then halfway through the song it's going to go half time. And then now, every instrument that's playing has to play a melody at least once during that section. Maybe we just write the same four section and it's just always half time, always <laughs> has everything playing a melody. Because technically it still fits the criteria that we're given. It technically works as an intro and a chorus here from what, from what we have. Well, we don't fucking have a chorus because we don't have any vocals, do we? Yeah, yeah, true. No, we do. We do have a, a chorus because it's going to be the bilingual chorus. It needs to be a mental five section, which we already have. So I think that works. So the five the section is song, repeat. You know. I think that's a song. Okay. Intro. Intro slash chorus, technically. Yeah. It's gonna be the intro. In fact, if we if you could have that as the main riff, like the main section of the song. Yeah, I don't think I think the bilingual bit should be more like a catchy phrase rather than an entire worded chorus because it yeah. doesn't physically make sense. I'm, remember we've got dubstep drums so we can write it more like how more how like a, an electronic dance track would mm. be. So we can do like chorus, build up, big mental section because it has to be a big mental section. Mm. Chorus, new section, chorus, big mental section. That works? It does work. We're gonna have to fucking make it work because that's what we've chosen. That's now right. for the bit that you've all come for. <laughs> Okay, bit of a recap before we start writing. We have dubstep drums, slap bass, heavy chords for the rhythm guitar, melodic delay for the lead guitar. Uh, our synth is a, uh, we have to use arpeggiated synths if we're going to use a synth. Uh, we're gonna have no vocals, but we do have to include a bilingual section, which we are going to assign to section four in this structure. Tune. Bilingual technically means two languages. I know, but. So we, we just mean, Non-lingual. Yes, I think because might for me being biased okay. because I'm playing slap bass, but it might be better if we do it as kind of a. I don't want to say funk metal, but you know, kind of like funk metal, but with actual electronic drums rather than yeah, yeah, because that's essentially what we're going for here. Mm. The thing is that the rhythm guitar has to be chords. Heavy, yeah, which means that we can't do any singles. I don't really work. want it to sound, I don't know, you know, how this chord progression is like, I was kind of like, mm, it's like sad ish. Mm. I don't think it should be like that. I think it should be more of a like positive more than negative. Okay. If you get me, okay. so almost like kind of the baby metal style of metal with how it sounds, where it's not, it doesn't sound sad and aggressive, it sounds like upbeat metal, yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. You're probably not going to see most of this initial thing in it. It's been 25 minutes already. Because um, we're just kind of working on getting the right sound, the right feel. Because when we get the right feel, we'll be able to move very quickly through the song. This initial bit is hard because it's almost like we're starting a new band with a new genre. This is a... No one sounds like this. Mm. So we're making our own thing. So we don't really know what style of anything to kind of go with yet, so.
going to put some form of melody over that first, or do you want to go with your No, bit? I'll do my bit, and then we'll do the we'll do the lead. Um, I've had an idea. Because because we need to do this section half time, we can have like a do 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 into the yeah, half time yeah, like yeah, have yeah. loads of like stops in the half time. And then when time. when it kicks in with the half time bit, we don't do the staggers. So it's like no 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 no. Oh, that's a fucking mint idea. Yeah. Basically. I think what we should have here is the the lead guitar thing that's going to be playing here should be quite, not necessarily all that melody. -y. Yeah, yeah. More of like a, I want kind of like a either descending or ascending kind of like, mm. almost like tremolo picks, but we can do the tremolo pick with the delay. Yeah. Rather than actually picking it, which would be kind of interesting. And then we can use the guitar and arpeggiated synth mm. in the other sections mm. more. Why don't we do the entire song without the lead or the extra or anything, and we'll just add that on afterwards. Okay. Get the better of be idea. We're probably best having this next section as like a die down section, because the section after is mental. Yes, I would so agree. So then we build to a mental, and then we build to the mm. that section that we've just written, but a drop. Yes. And we can limit what we play as well. How do we? I.e. we don't need the guitars on the bass, or we don't need everything. With the this next section? Yes. This might be the best time to go down to like drums doing something like a build up and we have a syncopated synth, sorry, an arpeggiated synth that ticks yes, the lead I here. So agree. we're probably best off picking that out now. Yeah, alright. Okay. No, one no. Oh, can't we? Alright, okay, alright, alright, fine. In fact, that me. might just work. Listen to this, listen to this fucking shit. Put it on, Put it on me. You do. No, I'm okay. <laughs> right, let's have a come out the computer. So, yes, we've got. The thing we have to make sure with these is that they are in time to the session. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna class arpeggiated synths as an instrument, which means that for the intro we have to have one arpeggiated synth not all of the ones that we choose for the entire song. That's fine. Because that's fucking stupid. I think having bass carry on that work. Yeah, it's the same thing. Maybe just a, a higher bass thing, maybe. Not higher, higher, not like really higher, but like. Because obviously, because we're tuned massively down, mm. not lower strength. You know, for <laughs> this bass section, we have to have a bilingual bit in it. Oh, no, not true. We don't have to treat the A section as the bilingual bit. We can just have it say as the D section. Because we only do the D section once. Mm. And we have it in between two A sections. So maybe that could work. Maybe the D This might be really cheeky, but maybe the D section is like really, really short and it is just the lead between two A sections. Like maybe it's a bar <laughs> and we just have one yeah. one bar of like fucking German or something. And then it just comes <laughs> in with the really heavy yeah. bit. Yeah, I think we should do that. Never before have we written a song and had to have a second day of writing, but here we are. So a little bit of a recap from yesterday. We, we wrote a section and half another section. Yeah, so we have the first section which is metal but with dubstep, and then we have the second section which has got the little arpeggiated synth in it which sounds pretty cool and sounds a little bit like this. Which is pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Next, we have to do a mental section. Yes, we do. And it's a completely new section. So, where do you want to start with writing this section? Guitar. You think guitar? No, okay. drums and then guitar. Okay. 
So are we going to say that we're going to leave it two bars that and have yes. it fill into it? What we could do here is we could, in the drummer, have a rock drummer play, mm -hmm. but have him play the the dubstep sounds. Mm -hmm. We have a mental drum beat for the mental section. Okay. Let's just have that lead in, see what it sounds like. What do we play it <laughs> with that? Don't forget we need some melodic delay in there somewhere. Well, in theory, that'll be the, the lead guitar. Mm. The melodies will be. That's so shit. That sounds so much of it. I noticed that we didn't actually mention this um, when, when we did everything yesterday. We're actually tuning the guitar and the bass down three semitones. Hence the weird harmonies that we're getting. That's because we're hearing what the original guitar sounds like, where in the final track, it won't have that original guitar sound in there. What the hell? Have the, like the rhythm guitar just doing like one kind of root thing. All right, well it needs to be D then. I don't know what to do for a second bit, I don't want to just loop that. What? A high note. That always works now. Like yeah, that. yeah. Mm. Like that, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So I shall, I shall, I shall. Because then, after that section, we have anything. We can do anything we want. Except that's what we were saying. We were gonna do. We were gonna do the uh, very short bilingual section of that. Okay. Let's just do this bit for now then. Okay, that's fine. Ideally for this bit, you need to not play what I'm playing here because it's the mental section. So mental ideally needs to be each thing is playing something different. Mm. Can I loop it for you? Well, I'll do the, I'll do the low section as soon as we're doing, and then I'll do a high one where I'm like... Okay. Something smart like that. I'll give you a proper counter. I say we write the lead guitar for the mental bit because then we know how it needs to lead into that bit and then whatever it is in that bit it needs to be in the beginning bit. Some reason we're getting the odd mm. playback in. I'm gonna find I'm gonna research some nice German sentences. Okay. I found a plugin that does melodies. Not really? Uh-huh. Good eh? Yep. Min. Okay, good. We are good. We stand here. It's gonna be the best footage of the entire video. <laughs> so we just recorded uh, all of Joe recording the vocal, which was only like a sentence, but um, here's, the, uh, here's the visuals from it. Forgot to turn the mic on. Um, I don't know how this song's going to turn out. It's a very, very weird song. Yeah, it'll be made in the mix, I think. It'll either turn out to be, oh, that's actually rubbish, or that's 
surprisingly okay, judging on the mix, because there's some <laughs> stuff in that maybe, I don't know. I think it's more interesting. I just think if we do this again, give ourselves a lot more time. Yes. And I don't agree. do it like the normal Let's Write song, because we're, we're confident that we can write an indie song, or we can write a rock song, or whatever. But this is just, here's a load of random instruments, go. That's a lot harder. <laughs> a lot, lot harder. Quick fair to view the final final version. Hope you like it. Good night. I hope you have a good... I hope... Just... I hope you have a good... Ah, Jesus Christ. Mm. I never want to write a song again. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to do music ever again. 